you happen to be that flaw? Everyone knows that he wasn't your real grandfather, and he was very strict with you. But only I know that he's the only family you cared for. If it's true that the man is dead, then you'd be spitting blood, refusing to shower or tie up your hair, which will make you stink all over. But looking at you, and the calm way you're mourning him, it's too normal. You may fool them, but you can't fool me. Assuming things could be really bad for you. You know that this matter is complicated, yet you get involved. You could get in trouble. All right. If you need any more help in the future, just let me know. I can handle the non-stop squabbles of the Yuin clan. Honestly, I don't like getting involved in fighting. More so, I can clearly see who the monsters are. And I definitely don't want to be around them. What I really want is to be like an eagle, just roaming freely. And you? What do you want? It doesn't matter. I don't have a say in it anyway. Listen. I just heard that Yu and Shi has decided to visit you here. The sad, grieving young master of Greenhill Court. What's more, he'll use his seniority to send women to you. So watch out. He's going to send someone to keep you company, and this is your reaction? Hey, tell me, what kind of girls do you like? Do you prefer pretty girls as sweet as sugar? Maybe noble ones from great families? Could it be the hot spicy women in brothels? I also don't have a say in that. <laughs> and what about that wildcat? Is she your type? Ah, Lord Winter, so cold! Hmm, it's the secret medicine of the Yuen clan. Thank you. Highness, that medicine's precious. Master doesn't even use it as much. Well, then I'd use it a lot. Shaoba, what's in that pouch? This is very important. Zishan kept it for Xiaoliu. Huh? But why haven't you given it back to her? You don't get it. This thing right here might have something to do with her identity. Now that both Ling Shi and Zishan are gone. Xiaoba, does this mean you don't want Xiaoliu to find her own family? I didn't say that. Xiaoliu, you're back. Uh-huh. Uh, Xiaoliu, she has... Uh... Stop it. So this is where the slaves live? Yes, it is. Ah. You're always here? Ah. Uh, I'm not. Ah. Uh. Move back! Out of her way! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Move! Get out! Move back! Get out of the way! Take her away! Wait, what are you doing? What do you want? Why are you taking Xiaoyu? Tell us! <laughs> Mr. Song is missing today, and someone said the two of you were arguing yesterday by the lake. I greatly suspect that you're involved in this. I have to take you with me right now, to have you interrogated. Take Xiaoyu. 
I advise you to behave well and come with me. If not, your two sisters are going to have a hard time, got it? But sir, what are you talking about? Didn't you say that we are just worthless slaves? If Mrs. Song is missing, why are you asking us? Maybe she ran away. What answers are you expecting to get from us? Furthermore, don't you need some proof before you can take us? That's right. Do I need to show you evidence? Listen, my words are evidence enough. Take them! Such an arrogant man. Huh? <laughs> Oh. I'm sorry, Prince Yangshun. I'm just teaching them a lesson. Oh, is that so? Actually, I was just very impressed with how you were handling the whole situation. I feel grateful, grateful. Maybe... You should give me a lesson, too? No, no, I can't. The other day, someone gave me the most outstanding horse. It galloped with such speed and grace that it could beat an eagle. Today, I was sad to see that the horse seemed low in spirits and very depressed. I was told it was because of the weather. But I think it's the work of someone who envies me for having such an excellent steed. I think they've done something to it. What do you think? Your Highness, I agree with what you said. I knew I was right. Someone has to pay for this. Uh, of course, so wise. <laughs> that makes it easy then. Stand up now. Take him outside. Beat this man 100 times. When that's done, bring him to me. Oh, hold on! Your Highness! Your Highness! Why is it me that you're punishing? Someone just hurt my horse. And I believe you're the person who did it, so you should be beaten. Uh, uh, your Highness! I've never even been inside your mansion, so how could it be me who did it? Y your Highness, you... You can't punish people without evidence. Do I need to show you evidence? Oh. What I said should be enough proof. Huh? Let's finish this. Feng Mian, execute him. Uh, your Highness, Your Highness, please. I beg you, I won't do it again, Your Highness. I beg you, Your Highness, please have mercy. Your Highness. <laughs> Uh, Lady Xing, uh, Lady Xing, please, I beg you, I beg you, please tell Prince Yanshun that I'm a good man, I beg you, I beg you, I'm sorry for what I did earlier. The prince said to roll out. Huh? What's wrong? You don't want to? Feng Mian? No, 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 uh, I'm waving, I'm waving, go, go now, go, 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 quick, let's go. <laughs> Thank you for saving us. Wait, is that it? Yes. Aren't you going to show your appreciation? I just did. Uh, that was nothing. At least serve me some tea. Your Highness, please look around us. There's no tea in this shed. <laughs> I don't care. I'm thirsty anyway. You two, go. Now. I want to drink some tea. Yes. Hey, don't go. If the steward finds us, he'll beat us again. <laughs> Your Highness, if you want some tea, the main rooms have some. The people there can take good care of you. We're just a couple of poor and worthless maids. We're not at all qualified to serve you tea. <laughs> Fine. I don't care. I... I'll... I... I'll just wait here. Oh, please wait a moment. I'll go make some tea for you. Hurry, come on. Oh, me. Ah, well, at least she knows formalities. Is this really how you treat your savior? Counting this one, I've saved you three times now. And I appreciate all your help. Then what's your problem? You look upset. You look like I owe you money or something. My brother just died. My sister, too. Even I almost lost my life a moment ago. If your highness wants me to laugh and tell him some jokes, forgive me because I'm not in the mood. This medicine removes scars. You can keep it.
I'm certain that he only saved me twice. Yes, she put it there. On top of that. Hurry up, please. Or else his eyes punish us. Right over there. More over there. That'll do. I think we did it. Where are the other things? Very well. Bring it over there. Quickly. Okay, quickly. My lord, why is he here? Get what I told you. As you wish. The old Master Xi has arrived! It's been ten years, huh? But it looks exactly as I remember it. Green Hill Court hasn't changed after all. It's like I stepped back in time. Back then, my oldest brother sat in this chair. My second brother sat there, and I just sat there. Now both of my brothers are gone, both of them dead. I'm just the one left. May I ask why great uncle is here today? To visit you. Your grandfather's dead. And so Greenhill Court has no leader, correct? You're left all alone to lead such a big court, I'm worried everyone will bully you. You worry too much. My grandfather's gone, but I'm still here. And the servants in Greenhill Court always follows my orders. There's no need to worry. Hmm, that's not entirely true. You are legally a child of the second house. Sixteen years ago, your mother suddenly went crazy, and that's why you were adopted here. But I checked the clan's records. <laughs> and do you know what I happened to find out? There was no signature of your father, the great general, on your adoption papers. With this new information, I think it's safe to say that you're not the heir of this house. This means the Green Hill Court is not yours to take charge of like what you're doing right now. My grandfather raised me here. Even if you hate it, I am taking charge. <laughs> You are not in any place to decide who is allowed or who's not allowed to rule the place of my brother. I know that. Of course I'm not. <laughs> but if the Emperor were to order me to take charge, that would be different. Oh my. Royal Edict coming! You have friends in high places, huh? You have even acquired a secret edict. You know, I am not an outsider in this place. I care about you as the clan's leader. Yeah. You're not getting any younger, and you are the master of this court. You should have women around, don't you think? La 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 la. I will give you one. Jinjin, come, come. so silent, yeah. I will be forced to make a decision if you don't talk. You show such goodwill. So how can I refuse? I won't only accept the girl you offer, but the ones from the second house as well. Huh? All those offered by Zhao Qi and from the others in Chang'an who wants to bestow me with these gifts. I will accept them all. Greenhill Court will soon be full of beautiful girls. What do you think? No way! I know you're young, but you can't give in to pleasures of the flesh. You have to think about your health as well. Oh, this one girl will be more than enough. It's just that the elders mean well. So how can I decline? How about this? I'll have a competition, and the winner can serve me in bed. By doing this, I don't have to choose. More so, I won't be rejecting the gift you gave. Also, I won't defend anyone. What do you think of this? Hmm. I happen to be very adept in selecting women. 
And in addition to Jinshin here, I'll let the copper and silver bells of Human Mansion join. They're here anyway, so let's not exclude them. They might even surprise you. All right. Whoever wants to join can simply do so. Are you satisfied? I am. When things are lively here, I'm happier. <laughs> if he wasn't an elder of the clan, I would kill him. Seven, tell everyone that I'm looking for my personal maid. As you wish. Old Master Chua was buried today. The other maids are saying that Ling Shi did it. We know Lin Shi was everything to Zhishang, but to those people, he's worth much less than money. If what happened to Mrs. Song is discovered by Lord Huai, then he's going to have us killed. Well, it seems that we can't stay in Yuan Mansion. What should we do? Lord Ye is truly heartless. When old Master Chua died, he started to select a personal maid. You know, men, they're all the same. <laughs> it's a pity that we're all just Iron Bell slaves. Because I want to join that contest, and if I get to win, I plan on killing him in his sleep to avenge Ling Shi's death. Entering Green Hill Court is the only way to escape you and wise men. Protect my sisters and avenge my grieving family. Even frail grass can fight against the stone. Though I only wear an iron bell, I'll fight for that chance. Who's next? Can you tell me your name? Why is a girl Jinxin. from Red Hill Court here? Because she was sent by old Master Shi himself. Of course the Master couldn't refuse, so he had to let her join. She's had some luck, but it'll run out. Fine. Look at that woman. Does she think she stands a chance with us? Jinshin? Just let her enjoy her short stay. I am very certain that she won't win in the contest. <laughs> what is she doing here? Really? She's an iron bell. She, 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 she shouldn't be here. <gasps> she shouldn't be here. You're not allowed. My lord. What is it? My lord. Lin Chi's sister Jing Xiaoyu wants to join the selection as well. She's outside and she won't leave. She says she'll kneel in the yard until you let her. You mean an Iron Bell slave wants to participate? She's too confident. Let her kneel then. I really don't care. As you wish.
What do you want? I'm Jing Xiaolue. I'm here to beg you. To please allow me to compete in your contest. Raise your head up. Give me a reason why I should treat you any differently. The only way I can save my life is to stay close to you, Master. So that is your reason? There's one way to stay here, and that is to become my personal maid. Yes. Do you even know what that entails of you? To be honest, I don't know, Master. That means you have to join your Master in bed. Can you do that, then? Yes. You saw with your eyes when I killed your brother. Yet you agree to do this. Where's your dignity? Tell me that. Slaves can't afford to have that. I only wish to save my life. Jing Xiao Liu can join this election. Understood. Get up now. You need to rest for the test tomorrow. Come in. <laughs> My lord. Why are you here? Uh, I have something to report to you. I received a message that says you and Ye gave a special pass to that Jing Xiao Liu. She's the slave who ruined our plan against you and Ye, so now she can join in the selection. Jing Xiao Liu? <laughs> yes, I remember that girl. Get rid of her so she won't cause trouble for me. My lord, uh, I have more news for you. Speak. Ah, yes. One of the cooks told me this earlier. On the night Mrs. Song had gone missing, people saw her having an argument with the Jing sisters by the lake. Later, they heard someone fall into the water. Why didn't you report it to me? Did you want to deal with it yourself? Oh, no, 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 my lord. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't. I just thought you were too busy recently. That's why I didn't dare. Okay, stop talking. Do you honestly think I can't see through these little scheme of yours? Oh, no, 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 my lord, please show mercy, please show mercy, my lord, show mercy! Right. <laughs> if this slave girl was able to take down Mrs. Song, uh -huh. then she's no ordinary slave. <laughs> thank you. Ah, thank you, my lord. <laughs> my lord, I think if Jinju falls short in impressing that you and Ye, we can just replace her with Jing Xiao Liu. We can use her as our pawn. Do you know you and Ye also killed her brother Lin Shi? That slave will definitely want revenge. <laughs> we can just sit back and watch. <laughs> <laughs> The most beautiful one here is you. The fool has arrived! 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 You're a fool! You're a fool! You're a Who fool! Who are you calling? 
Although your chain here is golden, you're still just like me. You're not free. Like this. How can she do that? Why would she, she do that? that? She has no shame. What did matter that woman? This is unbelievable. Come with me to change clothes. My lord, that girl doesn't know martial arts, but her moves are agile and real precise. I think she's quite the natural. My lord, this is the list that was sent by old master Shi. They're good at drawing, giving pleasure, and other skills. What do you think? What I need is a personal maid. I don't need this list. The Master's orders. Today's contest is about brewing tea, writing with ink, and playing the game of Chupa Chess. Three rounds in total. Lose two rounds and you'll be out. Those who are left in the third round have one more game. moves first. Black can go first too. Come on. can compete with you in the art of brewing tea, you're going to win. I agree with you. My skill in making tea will make me stand out. <laughs> the next group.
Have a quick look. Greenhill Court won't yes, punish us. Look. No way. Get out of here. Prince, Prince Jansun. Jansun. These two girls can join me. Uh, <gasps> yes, of course. Enjoy, Your Highness. Great. The first step is selecting the water. I can see that girl is aware that you should use fresh well water, like the hermits in the grove. Not bad. Lord Winter, I noticed that you're blushing hard today. Are you overwhelmed by all of this? <laughs> I suggest that you just enjoy the show. <laughs> Sit down. Obedience beats respect. Who made this tea? It was me. Answer me. With this tea, what methods did you use to make it? I will explain. I used water in the well in brewing the tea. But the problem with that is it has too much internal heat because it was exposed. I filtered it with wild mint to remove the heat. Great! She's bold yet careful. She applies the things she learned. So tell us, did she win this round? I respect the princess' advice. So she won. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Those who lost two rounds, you can leave now. What is the next test? That's a Sanskrit Buddhist text. Read it with the time of an incense stick, and then write down what you remember. That's the test. Let us see who can write it all without a single mistaken word. I'm really scared. What will she do? I'm really worried. It might be really difficult for her.
My lord, I will show to you the two best works. Who wrote this one here? Me, master. That's unlikely. She was peeping at the others while she was writing. I think she just copied from someone else. Really? From who then? Why did you get it all right, but you made many mistakes? Maybe she... maybe she read the scripture in advance. Stop it. This scripture was by the Buddhist master Badra. He brought it here yesterday. He has never shown this to anyone. But you accuse her of seeing it in advance. Are you accusing us of not protecting the sacred scripture? Huh? huh? I dare not! Tell me, why didn't you sign it? Maybe because she can't read at all. How can you serve the master if you don't even know how to read? I didn't hear anyone say we had to sign it. The rules just said to memorize the scripture, then write what we remembered. Making excuses. My lord, that's not it at all. I'm just obeying your orders. I did everything according to the rules. I don't know what's wrong. Fine. I'll give you another challenge now. I want you to add your signature for you to win the contest. Will you keep your promise? Of course. to honor what you said. It's the right thing to do. Jing Xiaoyu wins the contest. <gasps> Everyone, please leave. Yes. yes. I don't understand. How did she end up winning? How did she win? I don't know how she did it. You don't know any rules. Don't just stand there. <sighs> Tell me, why did you even want to be my personal maid? My lord, I promised my sisters that I'd take good care of them. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. Fine. I give you my word. If you can pass every test that I give you, then I will let your sisters go. Thank you, my lord. Come here. Help me shave. Yes. 